Welcome everyone to Burmester Utah here in the Hornets Nest as the West Lake University Hornets play in their very first game in program history are going to be taking on the UTSA Roadrunners of the Conference USA. West Lake has never had a football program but they have already jumped to the FBS not going to FCS or Division 2 or Division 3 so certainly a major leap. Westlake will be starting in the Independence, and unless they make the National Championship, which they're obviously not, they're going to win like three games most likely, they will be moving to the Mountain West next season. Westlake has a few uniform combos, but today they're going to be going with their all-black home jerseys with the regular helmet, which is going to be used eight or nine times a season, with the alternate being used about three or four times a year. With the black jersey and the black pants, UTSA, Going with the white jerseys and the black pants. Welcome to Burmester, Utah, just a few miles west of the Salt Lake. As West Lake is going to be taking on UTSA. Of course, that's where they get their name, with the Salt Lake just being west. UTSA is going to choose he heads, even though tails never fails. And it was tails. West Lake will choose to kick off. And UTSA will choose to defend that the one. The very first play in program history is underway for redshirt freshman Calvin Richardson will kick it off Jones will receive it and take a knee here is the UTSA offense as for running back alone in the backfield the fullback is in front of him two wide out set Sturm on first down looking to pass it he's under pressure and he's gonna be sacked it's for redshirt sophomore defensive tackle Victor Van Victor with the sack. Good start for the Westlake defense is Victor Van Vector with the sack. Second down at 18. As Sturm looking to pass it. He's under more pressure. And this time it's Conrad Novak. The left end with the sack. So two plays and two sacks for Westlake so far. Here is the Westlake offense starting with some very good field position at the 42. Led by redshirt junior quarterback Tyus Cummings. As on first down, handoff for Malik Bostic. And the very first offensive play goes for six yards. It is second down and four for 31. Bostic and Cummings in the backfield. Cummings looking. And he finds Cortez Forn, the true freshman receiver, and he gets it in the red zone. It is first and goal and a little bit past the two as Westlake is very close to the end zone. Cummings and Bostic in the backfield. Cummings scrambling. He's going to try to run it in, and he will. Touchdown, Westlake. Their very first touchdown in program history will be a rushing touchdown by Tyus Cummings. We have an EA Sports Studio update as number six Penn State beats the Syracuse Orange 14-10. Saquon Barkley 67 yards and a score, not a lot of points. Syracuse actually almost won this game. And some other games, Utah beats Utah State. Two of Illinois' rivals, they're going to be playing Utah next week. I said Illinois, I meant Westlake, I'm not fully used to it. Miami loses to Lane Kiffin in Florida Atlantic, and Michigan barely beats Notre Dame 14-7. It is third and ten for Westlake, they are one for one so far on third downs, as Tyus Cummings is the only one in the Hornets' backfield. Cummings, under pressure, he's going to get it to Rashawn Overstreet, and he gets it inside the five. It is second down and goal for Westlake. A little over two minutes left in the first quarter. Handoff for Malik Bostic and Bostic will find the end zone for a Westlake touchdown. And they are now up by multiple possession. It is third down and two for UTSA as the Roadrunners have not converted on third down yet today. Strum over to Jalen Rhodes again. And Rhodes gets a first down, gaining seven. Their second first down of the game. It is third down and one for UTSA. About 30 seconds left. In the first quarter, Westlake currently leads it 14-zip. And off for Clay. Clay with a first down. He gains 12. UTSA's running back Rhodes will be out for the game with back spasms. If he goes Eric Fisher, then he'd be in the very next play. Is on second and seven. Victor Van Victor with another tackle for a loss. He already got a sack earlier, and now that play is going to make it third and nine. It is second down and three for Westlake as UTSA was only able to squander a field goal. On their previous possession. It looks like it's going to be an option. Toss to Malik Bostic. Bostic has a first down. There he goes down the field. Tackle pass for 45. It is third down and four for Westlake. They are a perfect two for two so far on third down. Cummings and the running back in the backfield. 
Weverspoon is coming under a lot of pressure, but it's still caught by Weverspoon. Pretty lucky play right there for Westlake, but still get the first down nonetheless. Freshman punter Jason Byers with his first career punt. Got it all the way to the four, but some bad news for Westlake as Tyus Cummings is going to be out for the game with a broken toe as Tyrell Clay loses a yard to the redshirt freshman Mel Flint. With Cummings being out for the game in at quarterback is going to be the redshirt freshman C.J. Clifford who has a chance to be Westlake's long-term guy if he's good enough. As Clifford under a lot of pressure and he's going to be sacked for a loss of 16. It is the potential first round prospect Marcus Davenport with the sack. It is second down and 26 after the sack by the senior Marcus Davenport. Clifford and Bostick in the backfield. As C.J. Clifford looking to pass it. He's going to look... No, he's not. He won't look anywhere as he's going to be sacked for a loss of first 13 yards by Eric Banks. It is third and 39 as Clifford's offensive line has not been too kind to him so far yet. Cortez Ford in motion. Fake handoff for Ford. As Clifford... He's going to be sacked again! Jason Byers' punt didn't even reach the original line of scrimmage. That's how ugly... Westlake's previous drive was as UTSA has it back. Dalton Strom looking. He's going to be intercepted. It is Cyphers who picks it off. There he goes, and he's going to be tackled past the 40. After last drive really took a lot of Westlake's momentum away, the Demetrius Cyphers interception certainly gave a lot back. As on first down, Clifford fakes it. Gets it to Rashad Overstreet. Overstreet breaks that tackle, gets to the, like the 4. It is third down and goal at the 1. As Westlake was able to convert their first three, but have not converted their last two. Clifford is going to look to pass, and he will find Cortez Ford in the end zone. That is Ford's first career touchdown, and it's also C.J. Clifford's first career touchdown. And this is looking like a blowout at this point. First half is in the books, and I'm very sure that UTSA is grateful of it. And they are down 21-3 to against Westlake, and the Hornets start. The second half with possession. CJ Clifford has like negative 45 rushing yards, mainly because of the, all the sacks on that one drive. As Clifford scrambling, he's gonna get sacked again, losing 17 more yards. I believe that was it was not Davenport, it was Kevin Strawn Jr. UTSA started this drive at the 34, it's second and eight at the 32. If they don't score a touchdown, then there really is something wrong with their offense. And that certainly won't help as the red shirt sophomore three safety Edmund Setzer with the play third down and 11. It is first and goal at the three. Let's see if UTSA can finally score a touchdown. Clay and Sturm in the backfield as Dalton Sturm's going to try to run with it. Hetty will get in the end zone that way. The first allowed touchdown by Westlake. It is going to be the quarterback Dalton Sturm with the read option. It is second down and 10 for Westlake. They were unable to score on their previous possession. Let's see if they can here. As Bostick is going to get stopped for a loss of three yards. It is King Newton looking like the king of the jungle on that play, making it third and 13. UTSA will once again start past the 50. And could the Roadrunners be road running their way to a comeback? As a nice run there by Tyrell Clay, he gets 14. Westlake was pretty much perfect at the beginning of the first half. And so far here in the second half, same can be said. But for UTSA, is Tyrell Clay with another nice run up the middle. But this time, he gets in the end zone. And the Roadrunners have made it a four-point game, assuming they make the PAT. Remember when Westlake started with the ball at the beginning of the second half and we're up by 18? Well, that's pretty much gone away as UTSA has it back. Only down by four. Sturm looking to pass it, but he's going to be sacked by Marquise Birch. And it is third and 14. Huge play for the Hornets. At this point, this is anyone's game as East TSA did finally get stopped, mainly with the help of the sack by Marquise Birch. As on first down, Clifford looking to pass it. Clifford, he's going to be sacked again! This is at least the seventh sack of the game. This time, it is Solomon Wise. Many different... ETSA defenders are the ones getting sacks. No one has really gone off. CJ Clifford has negative 77 rushing yards. As on second down, Clifford doesn't know what to do with it. He's in the back of the end zone. He's going to look deep. 
down the field, and it's going to be intercepted by Gaines. Gaines not out of bounds, still on his feet, and he's going to be pushed down by Danny Silva. The Roadrunners are looking good as they are already in the red zone. First down. Sturm over to Clay. Clay with a nice run. It is first and goal. Just under 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Westlake leads at 21-17, but I don't know if we'll be saying that too much longer as Clay will be tackled in the end zone. And after being up 21-3, Westlake has officially blown the lead, just like Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian the other night. Touchdown, Roadrunner. We have an EA Sports Studio update as Colorado State, led by Brian Dawkins' nephew, ends up upsetting the Colorado Buffaloes 29-24. Nick Stevens, three touchdowns. Fackrell caught one of them as the Buffs are going to start 0-1. After being up 21-3 at halftime and starting with the ball, Westlake is officially down and C.J. Clifford has been benched for fellow redshirt freshman Ellis Thomas. As Thomas, he's going to run out of bounds, had no clue what to do as the offensive line for Westlake has been absolutely atrocious. Today. After scoring just three points in the whole first half, the Roadrunners managed three touchdowns in the third quarter. Let's see if they can repeat that effort. In quarter number four. As Dalton Sturm. It's going to be an option. But Trey Cooper Jr. Reads the play like a book. Third down and four for the road runner. UTSA is three for eight so far on third down. As Sturm looking to pass it. But he will be sacked. It is Victor Van Victor. With his second sack of the game. After starting off flawless in the first half. The Westlake offense has been terrible in the second half. As they've had trouble managing positive yardage is Bostic with a first down something that the Warnets didn't get too much in the third quarter. It is third down for Westlake there four for ten on third down. Ellis Thomas and Quentin Weatherspoon in the backfield. Thomas looking to pass it. Scrambling. He's gonna find Stewart but he drops it and the Warnets are gonna have to punt it again. Coach Mason Conway is gonna take a gamble and go for it as the offense has not been good and he knows they need to get some momentum or else there's no chance that they can win this game. Thomas will be incomplete again as he has incompleted his first six passes of the game. Still zero completion. It is second down and eight at the 42, or 32, sorry. About four and a half minutes left in the game. If the Roadrunner score a touchdown, then it's pretty much GG as Sturm looking to pass it. He's actually going to scramble and run with it. Sturm! Gaining a lot of yards. Third down and one for UTSA. Major play right here as Westlake needs a stop. Three and a half minutes left. Both teams have all three timeouts. Audible called as Dalton Sturm and Tyrell Clay are the two in the backfield. Sturm looking to pass it. He's going to try to run with it. But don't mess with Victor Van Vector. His third sack of the game. CJ Clifford is back in the game at quarterback. As while he has not been good, he has been better than Ellis Thomas. Westlake is certainly excited for when Tyus Cummings returns next week. Clifford, under pressure, doesn't know what to do with it, and he's going to be sacked again for a loss of two by Austin Jones. It is fourth down and seven after seven. Westlake pretty much has to go for it or else they have no chance of winning. This is pretty much the game here. A C.J. Clifford, scrambling. He's under even more pressure, and it's incomplete. Just under 40 seconds left. Westlake's offense is starting to put it together a little bit, but little too little too late. As it's going to be a screen for Bostic. No one near him. Bostic has blocks down the field. Jukes a defender and is in the red zone. He fumbled it, but the fumble is out of bounds, and it will remain Westlake possession. Two seconds left. This is it. Third down and eight at about the 11-yard line. Clifford and Bostic. In the backfield, this will be the final play of the game, as UTSA has already won it officially, but there's just going to be one more play ran, and an unsurprisingly, it is a sack. This time it's Jared Carter McClinn, as there were about 9 or 10 UTSA sacks. That was the story of this game, as Westlake was up 21-3 to at halftime, but blew it and lost 21-30. Hey, hey!